Tonight, a stunning new development in the fallout over the church sexual abuse scandal. Pope Benedict's personal secretary says a report that the Pope Emeritus had confirmed explosive incendiary charges by a former Vatican envoy to the U.S. against Pope Francis are untrue. This extraordinary development comes as the church is reeling from allegations by the former nuncio, Carlo Vigano, who says Pope Francis is complicit in a cover-up and should resign. Archbishop Vigano was the Pope's ambassador in Washington, D.C. from 2011 to 2016. In a letter, he alleges Francis knew of former Cardinal Theodore McCarrick's sexual misconduct starting in 2013, but rehabilitated him from sanctions Pope Benedict XVI had quietly imposed. The claims threaten to shake Francis's five-year papacy and have also cast a spotlight on the role of this program's parent company. Edward Penton, Rome correspondent for EWTN's National Catholic Register, first broke this story. He joins us from Rome. Ed, even some church officials are saying publicly that this letter is less about allegations of a cover-up of sexual abuse and more about a liberal conservative divide within the church, especially because they say Vigano's claims are unsubstantiated. Is this true? Well, like in any large organization, Lauren, people differ in how matters should be handled. Uh, the now retired Archbishop Vigano has his detractors and is considered to be by some to be controversial. There was the Vati Leaks um, scandal, uh, which he was important in uncovering uh, the corruption in the Vatican. Uh, the Kim Davis affair, of course, he set that up, meet, that meeting up with Pope Francis when he came to America. Um, he says in this case, um, his conscience dictates that the truth be known uh, because, and, he, and to quote him, he says the corruption has reached the very top of the church's hierarchy. Let's talk about the hierarchy. The big questions still remain. Did the popes know about McCarrick and when did they know it? Let's go to a New York Times story that they reported today that an EWTN board member, Tim Bush, who spoke with Vigano a few weeks ago, said the following about your publication, the National Catholic Register. Leaders of the publication, this was written in the New York Times, personally assured Mr. Bush, that the former Pope Benedict XVI had confirmed Archbishop Vigano's account. Is that true? Well, Lauren, that, that's not true. Uh, we did not say to uh, Mr. Bush that Pope Benedict confirmed Vigano's account. And again, uh, the register has never said that Pope Benedict corroborated the nuncio's letter. Um, here's what is true. In July, a month before Archbishop Vigano's testimony was written, I spoke to a source close to Benedict who did confirm that Benedict remembers issuing sanctions on Cardinal McCarrick, but the source said uh, Benedict could not recall the precise nature of those sanctions. Now, I didn't report it at the time as it was unattributed and I was seeking uh, confirmation, but Archbishop Vigano's testimony provided that confirmation. Uh, Archbishop Gail Genswein, Benedict's personal secretary, rightly corrected, therefore, what was reported in the New York Times and calls the New York Times report that Benedict had confirmed Vigano's letter fake news. Where does the story go from here, Ed? Well, there's still uh, many questions about um, Archb Archbishop Vigano's testimony as well as who knew what and when. Um, reporters um, were all trying to get to the bottom of it. There's a lot of, um, well, quite a few unsubstantiated allegations in there which need to be uncovered. Um, and also uh, there's, a, there's a homosexual cabal which he mentions which also needs to be looked at, which is also very difficult, of course, to get to, to really uncover. Um, and then we're all also waiting to see what Pope Francis says and whether he breaks his silence um, and whether after the, all of this there'll be an investigation. So there's a lot, a lot more to go on this story. We will be covering this for the days and weeks to come. Edward Penton, Rome correspondent for EWTN's National Catholic Register. He broke this story. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Lauren.